Hi everyone. Today I have another poem by Marie Howe. And I first learned about this poem pretty recently through the Dear Poet Project. And I have been assigning a bunch of these poems to my students, have them watch the videos that the poets record of them reading the poems, think about what they might want to say to the poet if they wrote them a letter. So Marie Howe is a chancellor of the Academy of American Poets, which means that she works with them. And so she chose her poem, Singularity, to be part of the Dear Poet Project this year. And this is actually not one of the poems that I assigned, but several of my students on their own went and looked through the poems and found this one and wrote to her about it because really there are some interesting parallels between this poem and our lives today. And so the poem is called Singularity and it's after Stephen Hawking. And so I did a little bit of a dive on the internet to try to figure out what a singularity is, and I definitely don't understand it, but um, <laughs> a description I have from the internet here, a gravitational singularity is a point in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down. And I think the idea is that the this happened before the Big Bang. Like, the, a singularity is how uh, our our uh, universe was many, many, many years ago. I don't fully understand it, but uh, how explores this idea in her poem. So I want to read it to you. I'll project it for you too. Okay, Singularity by Marie Howe, after Stephen Hawking. Do you sometimes want to wake up to the singularity we once were? So compact, nobody needed a bed or food or money. Nobody hiding in the school bathroom or home alone. Pulling open the drawer where the pills are kept. For every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. Remember? There was no nature, no them. No test to determine if the elephant grieves her calf or if the coral reef feels pain. Trashed oceans don't speak English or Farsi or French. Would that we could wake up to what we were, when we were ocean, and before that, to when sky was earth, and animal was energy, and rock was liquid, and stars were space, and space was not at all, nothing. Before we came to believe humans were so important, before this awful loneliness. Can molecules recall it, what once was, before anything happened? No I, no we, no one. No was, no verb, no noun. Only a tiny, tiny dot brimming with is, 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 is. All, everything, home. So I think this poem is really powerful and a lot of my students pointed out this idea of loneliness. She talks about loneliness here and uh, you know, people struggling on their own earlier in the poem. And the poem is called Singularity. So even, if though, even though that does have a scientific meaning, meaning, it evokes the idea of loneliness. But thinking about what we once were, we can go back really far into the history of the universe, universe or we could go back two months. And I, I was really moved by some of my students' letters about this poem and how they connected to this idea of people being, you know, having kind of dominion over nature and all of us being together and yet separate from each other. And that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. But in a lot of ways, this crisis is bringing people together as well. So I really like this poem. I am grateful to my students who pointed it out to me as one that was worthy of studying as well. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks, everyone.